this is Luke the Kook, and you're watching WASD FM. Let me turn the volume down just a little bit. There we go. Perfect. Everything else looks good. Wow. Coffee Talk, episode two already and this is the demo by the way so the demo is available for a limited time only in steam and honestly by the time you watch this video the demo is probably no longer playable on steam but that's okay this game is expected to release this year sometime this year and this is one of my most anticipated games of 2020 all uh 2022 <laughs> excuse me of uh 2022 along with um elden ring yes and I don't even know what else is coming out in 2022. What's your name, barista? Well, the kook? I don't think I can fit Luke the kook, can I? Luke the koo. Maybe with no spaces. Luke the kook. All right, fair enough. That works. That's how I have it on my DLive and Twitch. Is Luke the Kook correct? Oh, it is always very correct. I'm quite the Kook indeed. Yes, I am. <laughs> a game by Toge Productions. Now I know how to pronounce it. Mm -hmm. Oh, again, this takes place in the future. Seattle 2023. Man, they uh, this is getting scary because uh, Toge Productions predicted quite a bit with 2022. I mean 2022, with 2020. Um involving a virus, I believe. Coffee Talk, the original Coffee Talk, released in January of 2020, uh, predicted a virus, and predicted, um, basically riots, right? Yeah. Predicted viruses and riots. Uh, I'm not looking forward to what they're predicting with 2023, I can tell you that much. A city of enduring loneliness. A place where the dreamers, the realists, and the weary are striving to thrive and thriving to strive and not just to survive. It is a time when society is reevaluating what it means to be alive and thrive and survive and jive. It is a moment when history is questioned and traditions are challenged. Old classification laws are confronted by those who are striving for fairness, for the right to be acknowledged in a society rife with judgments. Acceptance is a battle, and identity is a luxury they just began to grasp. Many who are feeling lost turn to their screens to find their footing. Yeah, that's true. By the way, I got a shout out from uh, Lala on the Toge Productions YouTube when she was live streaming and she was interviewing her her uh, musician for Coffee Talk, the first Coffee Talk, uh, AJ. And yeah, I was just you know I was just there in the chat and I got a shout out from uh, from Lala, so that was pretty awesome. Anyway, I just wanted to mention that. And the world becomes fast-paced with increased connectivity, whether for work or pleasure, for a little encouragement, or simply to escape. It is unclear whether or not it helps or further isolates them. As some look for answers off the beaten path, seeking bittersweet comforts to help pass on lonely nights, and a night blooming coffee shop standing between the rainy streets, they'd find a small respite through a cup of warm drink. And these are their stories. I gotta tell you, the, uh, the writer of these little narration scenes is actually a pretty decent writer. Sometime in 2023. Uh, the writer of this game is pretty good. I like their, uh, I like their use of vocabulary, if you will. 
free of charge, The Evening Whispers, Wednesday, September 13th, 2023. God. Oh, are they expecting this game to get delayed in the 2023? I wonder. Huh. Seattle West Precinct Police is losing a record number of officers in January. Okay, well, that's that's already happened. That's in the past, so... They're not really, they're not really predicting that. But I guess this is kind of paralleling our world a little bit, yeah. Social experiments skirting between entertainment and menace. There you go, that's always been going on. Massive job loss as large companies move out of state. What's next? Yeah, a lot of companies like um, SpaceX, uh, Elon Musk, move his companies out of California into Texas last year. <laughs> that was a good punch in the nose of California. F you, California. But this is Washington State. Loop the kook. I guess this will go on for a while. Ah, Officer Georgie! What's up, man? Oh my god! It is so good to see him again! I fucking love Officer Georgie! What's going on, Officer Georgie? Welcome! Good evening, Luke the Cook. I miss doing his voice! I miss doing his voice! What's cracking? <laughs> Aside from the thunder outside, that is. <laughs> I'd say the power lines. Probably. Yeah? What about them? It's basically just Cleveland's voice. I don't know. He just looks like he would have Cleveland's voice from Family Guy. Ow. Oh, that's a concern. The power kept going in and out all night. Our machines couldn't even heat up properly. That bad, huh? Sorry. I'll take your order as soon as the machines are ready. No problem. I guess our resident writer, Miss Green-Haired Fairy, isn't here tonight. Yeah, it's kind of a bummer. You mean Freya? Well, the one and only. Unless she's changed her hair color, then... Oh, <laughs> that's Georgie reading it. Unless she's changed hair color, then my bad. <laughs> it's still the same. She won't be coming around for a while, I think. Oh, why? She's currently on a research trip for her new book. That's so. Tomonacho. Georgie, he's still got the same avatar. June 1st is his birthday. Friends only, close friends only. What's on the brew pad? Oh. Uh, starting all over again, are we? Bunch of undiscovered drinks again. Again. We got our green tea latte, espresso, dark chocolate, cappuccino, cafe latte. Please subscribe to the evening whispers. We can shuffle the uh, playlist here. What? Hey, Remy Gendrew. <laughs> no. It's Andrew Jeremy. Right? Yeah. Andrew Jeremy. That so? At least that's what she told me. That's too bad. The evenings won't be the same without her. No kidding. I admit, it's been pretty quiet around here. But it's good for her to escape the city once in a while to have some time to herself. Ah! Not looking too good, huh? Yeah. But I've already notified the city lights department. They said they'll monitor the area just in case. Don't worry, Luke the Kook. If anything happens, I'll lend you my trusty lighter. Your lighter? Uh-huh. Got it from my grandfather, I did. A lucky charm of sorts, you could say. Never failed us in a pinch, not even once. Unless you need it lit up for longer than 10 seconds. <laughs> then you're on your own. That's the thought that counts. 
Don't cops usually carry around flashlights anyway? Oh, we do. But I've had to bludgeon so many criminals lately with it that it kind of broke on me. <laughs> but where's the thrill in that? <laughs> Stop resisting! Stop resisting! Thwack, thwack, thwack. <laughs> Sounds like you need a vacation, too. Do I ever. <laughs> Goodness, finally. Thanks for waiting, I can take your order now. Great. I'm already done for the days, so no more coffee for me. Oh, no midnight patrol then? Just for tonight. Roger that. In that case, would you like to try one of our new tea selections instead? We have hibiscus and blue pea available. Hibiscus and blue what? Uh, blue pea? It's actually butterfly pea, but we call it blue pea for short. The color is really pretty. Huh. I had no idea you offer alternative stuff, Luke the Cook. No judgment here. Just saying. Alternative. What? 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 Ow. It's P. It's P as in P pots. Is that what it said? Ow! Wait. It's P as in P pods. Ow! I accidentally skipped that. And not whatever else you thought it was. Not urine or piss. You freak. Got it. Whoops. Sure, I'll give it a shot. Still remember my golden rule? Of course. No dairy for Officer Georgie. Correct. You lactose intolerant pussy. <laughs> no white stuff going down this throat. <laughs> I'm sure you have all these, all this, all these info. I'm sure you have all that info written down in your phone. I want to say yes, but this is a sequel, and we kind of had to start over. Some of my notes are missing after I got my phone serviced a month ago. Whoops. Well, better write down everything you can remember, then. Anyhow, I'll take either blue piss or hibiscus. Keep them simple. Yeah, look at that. The slightly new UI. It's been updated a little bit. Look at that. Butterfly pea. You didn't have that in the original game, did ya? Hibiscus. Yes, it's true. You did not have hibiscus in the last game either. Hey, that's what this sequel is named after. Hibiscus. <laughs> wow. Mind blowing. <laughs> Blue pea or hibiscus. What else did he order again? Uh... Ah... Uh, what you doing? We just talked about it, you dumbass! <laughs> uh... Uh... Why well, it's taking you so long? What are you trying to figure out, anyway? So he said T, right? Blue pea or hibiscus? So, can't have both? Is that right? Uh... No? Yeah, I that. Let's try butterfly pea. Cinnamon and milk? Oh no, he can't have milk! He can't have milk. Uh. Can he have cinnamon? Too bad you can't set, like, the temperature in. The sweet is a better one. Uh. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, I thought they would have uh, added more features to this, but uh, oh well. Maybe in the third. 
we wait for the third coffee talk. I'm sure they'll uh, give us more things to play with. This game was actually released a lot sooner than I expected. My goodness. But they have a much larger team than uh, the team behind Valhalla and Nirvana. Will this work? And trash it. <laughs> I can't draw on it, huh? Serve it. Sure, let's check this out. All right. Here you go. Wow! Is this stuff really safe to drink? What's with the color? I assure you it is completely edible. Yeah, yeah. I'm just playing with you, Luke the Kook. <laughs> it's surprisingly mild, huh? Usually people put lemon in it. Uh, I'm kind of short on lemons today. Short as in, I have zero. It changed color too. Really? Yep. Unfortunately, I'm out of lemons. Didn't have enough time to get any from the store. It's fine. I remember my youngest showed a video of something like that. You know, she's really into new agey health stuff. I remember she made me a drink from blue algae or something. To lower my cholesterol, she said. Problem was, it tasted like dirt. I still drank it, though. Nice of her to think of her dad's health. Yeah, she's swell. Between you and me, though, I'll stick with coffee. But this one, I don't mind at all. Maybe I'll ask her about it later. Thanks. You're very welcome. Good lord. What a storm. Got somewhere to be? I'm supposed to be home by now. My youngest has just finished all her remedials. Remedials? Yeah. We found out for a reason or another she's been neglecting her studies. So let's just say I... I had a few things to say about that. How'd it go? <laughs> it was a disaster. Oof. But she pulled through it and... <laughs> uh, take two. <laughs> but she pulled through in the end, right? Yeah. Except we haven't spoken to each other for over a month now. Sorry to hear that. Anyway, the missus planned to celebrate a little tonight. Making all the kids' favorite dishes, having her sisters over for dinner and all that. So I'm buying the dessert pies as an olive branch of sorts. Sounds like a good plan. But as you can see, I got no pies, and I'm nowhere near home. Because of the storm? That, and my car is busted. My tires have all had their valve caps removed. What? How come? Why would you do that to your car? <laughs> Just so happens my car is the latest victim of a vandalism spree. It's a whole nother thing going on. But rest easy. We're on it. Sure. Once we get our funding back. <laughs> For now, I need to find a way to get home fast. You can't just drop that sort of fact and expect me to have no questions. Holy... Who's this? A new guy! Uh, what kind of voice should I give this new guy here? I guess I'll just wing it. By Zeus! What a disaster! I have no idea why I'm <laughs> Welcome! Hey, what's shaking? Evening, pops! He just seems kind of like a bro to me. So I guess he's a, like a New Zealander bro from the valley of New Zealand. <laughs> what's up? Thunderstorms, obviously. Touche. God, isn't the weather just awful? He's like a Valley New Zealander surfer. Bro. <laughs> it's just a mix of accents. Just for the hell of it. It's like someone out there doesn't care about the weather bill or something. Uh, the water bill or something. But I'm glad you're open, though. 
else I'd be super soaked by now. Yeah, like a super soaker. Yeah, we get it. Okay. Happy you made it in time. Would you like anything to drink? Something to warm you up? That'd be great. Yeah. Oh, oh I'm Lucas, by the way. Lucas the Kukus. <laughs> and you are? My name is Luke the Kook. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Worlds colliding! I can't take it anymore! <laughs> Georgie's like, oh my god! <laughs> There's too many Lukes going around here. Too many kooks. And the gentleman over here is Officer Georgie. Awesome! Nice to meet you, Pops! Can I call you Pops? Fine by me. Sweet! <laughs> Uh-oh. Mrs. Calls. Ah. Alright. Be back. Wish me luck. Good luck. See ya! Boink. Hey, teleports. So, can I get a latte? Sure. Or maybe not. Yes? You know what? I'm not sure. You tell me. You're the pro, bro. <laughs> uh, I'm the bro pro? Okay, okay. Hear me out. You see, I liked coffee. Heck, I loved espresso. But at some point, my stomach turned against me and decided to just hate it. Like, really hate it. You know what I mean? Right. Anyway, milk helps take the edge off. That's why I've been ordering lattes and the like. But I still miss just coffee. You know? Whoops. <laughs> Get a little... I'm like, I'm talking with my hands and my hands are getting, you know, they're going everywhere. That's why I'm wondering if you can suggest me something. What was it about coffee that you missed? The caffeine, of course, dude. And just the overall boldness, you know what I mean? Am I making sense? They spelled overall wrong, by the way. They're missing an L. They're missing an L. Spell check your shit up! <laughs> I'm playing. Am I making sense? Have you ever tried matcha? Nope. But isn't that just green tea? Yes, but much more concentrated. Would you like to give it a try? Sure! Then one match for me, please! <laughs> Bordering Nicolas Cage. <laughs> I don't even know what matcha is. What is this? What does this do? Huh. I guess we'll just have to find out, dude! How do you make matcha? What is matcha, bro? What are you doing? Why are you on your phone, bro? Do you not know how to make the shit that you just... Um... Cinnamon? Hang on, let me check the dialogue again. Reset. Uh, matcha, isn't that just green tea? Yes, but much more concentrated. So is it just green tea? Let's give it a shot. I honestly have no idea. Whoa, oh, it is matcha, okay. I did make ma matcha. Matcha, matcha? Just three green teas. A cup of premium matcha coming up. Dude, I'm taking my picture of it, bro. Mm-hmm. Man, it's super green, huh? Let's try it. <laughs> da, da, da. What do you think? You know what? It's pretty good. Tastes a little grassy, though. But I kind of like it. I'm glad it's to your taste. I wasn't sure if you'd enjoy it as is. <laughs> Why wouldn't I be? Some people find the taste a bit too intense when it's served straight like this. Well, good thing I like intense. Because <laughs> I make up for the fact I'm really not. Anyway, 
I'm looking forward to your future recommendations from now on. I'll do my best. Take another picture of that, bro. So, does anyone ever come here? What do you mean? I was trying to pin this coffee shop on my post, Roy. But there's like no trace of your place anywhere. No tags, no mention, no win. What's up with that, dude? Oh. Maybe our crowd isn't as big as your usual coffee shop since we opened quite late. Well, that makes sense. Time you guys close anyway. Ah, we're open until morning. For real? That's pretty heckin' late. Do you turn into a secret bar like out at 2 a.m. or something? If we did, Officer Georgie over there would have a few things to say about that. What? That's no fun. Are you guys on social media at all? No, uh, not the coffee shop itself, no. A late night coffee shop that nobody talks about, huh? Interesting. But hey, that means I can stay until the storm's over, right? Of course. Stay as long as you'd like. Sweet, thanks. I can give you a shout out on my stories if you want. Your stories? Yup. Here, let me show you. It's 2023, and this character does not know what stories is. R, R is, whatever the proper grammar for the, is for that. <laughs> Mr. Spellchecker that I am here. Here, let me show you. Hey, look, it's me, bro. I'm wearing my bro shirt, bro. Or my bro hoodie, bro. I got my bro horns, bro. Uh, guess where I am? Hashtag chilling. Hashtag coffee talk? Coffee day? Oh? I was going to tag your place here. I do have an account there, but I haven't seen this feature before. Oh yeah, it's a pretty new thing on Tomato Chill, huh? Huh. You can check on people's updates now. Just open the stories tab inside the app on your phone once in a while. Oh, so that's a new feature that they added to this game. Huh. Who knows? Maybe you'll find some juicy info on your customers there. That's a bit... Hey, I'm just saying. People will post anything. Kidding. I'm usually more active on my tube channel anyway. But hey, since you're here, want me to tag you instead? Ha, no thank you. But I'm curious. What do you do exactly? Your posts already seem to have a lot of reactions for a new feature. Right! I guess you could call me a lifestyle reviewer of sorts. I report on the hottest trends. On the hottest people. On the hottest places. And everything else in between. Oh, so basically this guy's like Jake Paul or whatever. Wow! Does that mean this coffee shop is part of the hottest gang? Do you want it to be? Sure! For the pr uh, for the right price, you can't wait. I guess that makes sense. For the right price, you can. Ah, never mind then. Just kidding. My manager decides what I endorse. They all keep me on brand, so to speak. Since they said I can get... Uh, wait, what? Since they said I can get too crazy sometimes... Can or can't? Do they mean to say can? Or do they mean to say can't? Whatever that means. Oh, lordy. Oh, I teleported here. I hate it when you do that. Welcome back, Pops. Of course, Lucas teleported too. Thanks. Is everything alright? Kind of. The missus is not happy. Maybe I should try calling the cabs. What do you think? I would save my minutes if I were you, Pops. Not good, huh? Been calling for a while. Uh, been calling for him a while. Uh, uh, been calling for him while I was on the lookout earlier. One and a half hours later, here I am, bro. You mean an hour? Just, just say an hour and a half later. There are no cabs around my station either. Did you try ordering online, Pops? Did you not see my phone? The only ordering I can do is nom noms from around the corner of my house. Touche! 
Well, on the bright side, our power seems stable for now. Uh, whoa, whoa. Shit. Not have said that. I jinxed it. Sorry, guys. I retract my statement. I guess we're gonna have to close for the night, as I will not be able to serve any more drinks. Get the fuck out! <laughs> for what it's worth, they held out much longer than I expected. You're right. Wanna borrow my lighter then, Luke the Kook? A tempting offer, but no thank you. I'm gonna check on something, though, so I'll be right back. Sure. Good luck. Hey, you all right? Y yeah, everything's peachy, bro. I just, uh, I'm afraid of the dark, bro. I just don't like being in the dark so much. Oh, shit, sorry about that. You smacked my beverage right into my microphone here. What? Well, actually, it was right in the pop filter, but whatever. Anyway. What? You scared of the dark, kid? Duh. You never know who might jump out at you. Ah. Uh, well, it might be me that jumps out at you. Bah! Oh, dude, don't do that, bro. <laughs> but we're in a room. Still, don't you feel scared at all, Pops? Of course not. I blend in with the night. <laughs> I do night patrols all the time. If I can cuff them, I can handle them. In theory. Well, I don't know how to feel about that at all. Huh. Did you hear something? What? I swear I heard something just now. Ah. Uh -huh. Holy fuck! Whoa! Calm down, guys. It's just a ghost. Or a zombie. Or a thing. <laughs> Look at their faces. <laughs> da da da. Da da da. Err. Hi. She's actually kind of freaking hot, dude. I'm back! Sorry about that. Everything should be good for now. Oh, great. Welcome! Can I make my order? Of course. What do you have? Although our arsenal is limited at the moment, we still have all the usual fare. Coffee, tea, lamp oil, rope, bombs. You want it? It's yours, my friend. As long as you have enough rubies. <laughs> and herbal drinks, too. Oh, my. I'd like something soothing for my throat. And for my mind. Tough day at work. Da -da -da. If you have no particular drink in mind, mind if I suggest trying our new Blue Pea Latte. Blue Pea Latte. Could you make it pretty? I'll try my best. Okay. One blue pea latte with art, please. Uh, that's a hell of a promise. I still have yet to discover it. So I didn't make the correct... Fuck. Alright, uh, blue pea. Just milk. Let's try that. I made a butterfly pea latte. Uh, let's see how well I can do the latte art this time. Now reset. Oh, you know what? Reset. Reset. I'm gonna make a little heart. 
Ah, no, I'm not. Ah! Reset. <laughs> ah. Reset. <laughs> Let's get like a circle here. So much for the heart. Ugh. Now it's gonna look like an ass. It's gonna look like a butt. <laughs> Damn it. Would you stop being so realistic? Reset. I don't think the art is going to happen. I mean, the, the heart is going to happen. Art can happen, yes. But not art. Not not the uh, heart art. Here, I'm going to form an ass into her. <laughs> Reset. Maybe I'll draw like a giant penis or something. No, I can't even draw a penis. Ugh, it's too realistic. Ah, gosh, I can't even draw a penis. I'll get there. Just watch. You'll see. I gotta get bad. I gotta get the uh, uh, eighteen. 18 and up. <laughs> if I do this correctly. Uh, with a needle going through it. There, it's a dick with a needle going through it now. Oh, God. I hope Toge Productions doesn't watch this yet. Let's play. <laughs> I really hope they don't watch this. <laughs> All right, fine. I'm not going to draw a penis. Okay, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm going to go back to my heart idea. I'm going to kind of... Just watch, just watch, you'll see. You'll see. I've gotta get it right this time. Just watch. Alright, so if Toge is watching. You never know. You never know. I doubt they would watch it this far though. In the last play. They seem pretty busy. They seem like they have too many things on their hands. Ah, I've been spending way too much time on this. Never mind, you know what? I'm going to make it into a Lovecraftian monster. There. It's freaking Nyar Lathotep now. DJ Nyar Nyar Lathotep. Tap, 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 tap. There. Thank you for waiting. Here you go. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> it's blue? Yes, but red, it blue like your hair. But rest assured... It is all natural. I see. Hmm. It's pretty. Hmm. How do you like it? It's good. Thank you. You are very welcome. Is the power okay now? Yes, the city department is making sure of it. Awesome. Now, we can just wait until the storm's over. Right? C can we? Well, about that. The news said the storm will go on until midnight at the very least. What? Would have been nice if I had my car. There are several road closures due to flooding also. Well done. So basically you're saying we're stuck. Afraid so. At least for a little while. I'm in such deep trouble. Wait, what? He's wording that sentence weird. I'm such in a deep trouble. Uh, no. <laughs> I, I would word it like this. I'm in such deep trouble. What's wrong with your car, Pops? Yeah, you didn't finish explaining it earlier. I have questions. <laughs> Just didn't want to alarm you, Luke the Cook. His tires got flattened. For real? 
Yep. There was this vandalism going around recently. Someone keeps removing the valve caps from parked cars around the West Precinct area. Huh. Why? Maybe someone's a collector. Or got too much time on their hands. No clue yet. Anyhow, our station lot was getting repaved. So a few of us had to park outside today. Well, you know the rest. Did everyone's car got had two pops? Nope. Just mine. Oh. That's so weird. You're so chill about it. Yeah. Maybe because there's no real damage other than my time. My colleagues aren't so cool about it, though. The recent massive resignation sort of left us in a bind. We're pretty understaffed right now. Which means tensions are pretty high all around. Well, that doesn't sound good. Don't I know it. Anyway, we caught the culprit on CCTV. So, I'll be looking into it starting tomorrow. Just hoping it won't get any crazier in the meantime. Could it just be a prank, Pops? You think so? Yeah! With what's been going on lately, the suspicion would be elsewhere, right? <clears throat> so the culprit may think they won't get caught. <coughs> Are you speaking from experience? If I say yes, would you let it slide? Depends on what you did. Harsh! But I'm serious, prank videos are like their own genre online, you know? <clears throat> I don't know, I think prank videos are kind of old now, aren't they? People watch that kind of stuff? Wait, are prank videos still going on today? I thought that was kind of like a 2015 thing. Oh yeah! It's all about cheap thrills, Pops! <coughs> and a good way to make money too, if you play your cards right. Ow! The crazier your shtick is, the more views you get, which means more ad money. Leather, rinse, repeat, until you push them just a bit, just a bit too far. Then you'd get the nuke and everything will just go poof and disappear. Don't stop anyone from doing it all over again though, cause really, all you need to get started is a camera phone and what phone. <coughs> Or a service provider. You know, I mean, you don't necessarily need Wi-Fi on your phone. Just, uh, you know. Anyway, everything else comes down to timing and luck. You sure know a lot about this. Maybe I should bring you in for questioning. Oh no! My manager would kill me! Joking. Anyhow, a high-risk, high-reward opportunity with a low-entry barrier. Sounds like something else. Oh yeah, anything goes for views. Honestly, that's one of the reasons I'm on a break at the moment. Break! Air quote. Ow. It's a long story. Or it could be a short story if you post it on <laughs> Tomato Chill. Uh, been wanting to change the direction of my show for a long time now. What's wrong with that? Well, the views are declining for one. Why? Not enough pranks. Harsh! Nah, I haven't done those things in a long time. In like, seven years. Not that I ever wanted to get back into it. Anyway, I'm not in a position where I can take that kind of risk yet. Even if I'm totally up for trying something new. Guys, people don't like change. That's right! Yet, they get bored easily too. Today's good might be trash tomorrow. So, it feels like I'm battling a daily paradox in time. A paradox? You make it sound... Hmm? Sounds like... You make it sound like the continuity of your work depends on the audience's whims, kid. I guess you could say that. Why? Huh? Pardon? Sorry. I didn't mean to intrude. Even so... I was unable to avoid overhearing you. It's alright. I know I'm loud. Can you explain what you mean by why? Dot dot dot. Do you think the audience is always right? Of course.
course not. Then why place so much emphasis on what they want? going with this and where are you coming from on this? Why must you follow their wills? I mean, it all comes down to numbers, right? Da -da -da. A single opinion might be easy to negotiate with. Maybe even ten or a hundred. Still doable. But to influence the opinion of thousands? Millions? Da -da -da. Not so easy. So I believe if you can't fight them, join them. Then change things slowly from the inside out. Da -da -da. There's no way it can work. No? Why do you think that? Da -da -da. My apologies for not providing context. You don't have to, I was just curious. Considering I intruded, it is only fair. I admit that I am not a big fan of online activity. I find the people's conduct there very loathsome to me. That's a strong word. Here we go. Oh, it's not going to get preachy, is it? I hope it doesn't get preachy. Two years ago, I uploaded my singing reel online. In preparation for my audition as a soprano. Oh, here we go. A soprano? Really? That's cool. Can I see it? I already took down. Oh, why? I believe she's getting to it, Ted. All right, okay. It was something made out of necessity. I recorded the reel using my phone at home, since I have no previous theater experience to show. It was not of the highest quality, I'll admit. Even so, I did post it to a video site, mainly to add the link to my applications. Though, I am not sure if it helped at all as my attempts have yet to yield results. Right. However, one day my application was unexpectedly responded to by an additioner. It was a polite rejection. However, they left me with a curious suggestion. What do they say? They highly recommend that I moderate my video's comment section. So I checked. Here we go. It was... Uh-huh. A lot. Uh-huh. What happened? The comment section was teeming with plenty of... strong opinions. If they can even call it that. What? There were... Let's get to it already. A lot of comments telling me to... stop screaming. And to take my video down. Because they didn't want to get cursed and die yet. Huh? What's with that nonsense? Others questioned my sanity for knowingly spreading bad luck with my voice. And many others wanted to know who and where my handle was. Since there's no such thing as sentience for us and banshees, I suppose. That's real fucked up! That's... horrible. Even with the Vindication Act in place, those POS still exist, huh? The Vindication Act. A global treaty to recognize the sentiency and rights of non-sapiens. Sapient refers to any species that is intelligent and bipedal. Like humans, elves, orcs, gnomes, halflings. You know the type. Huh. I may look like this, but us satyrs got added pretty late into the game. Literally. We got added in the sequel. <laughs> <coughs> but don't you fit the bill right away? Yeah. But we're all born males. How does that work? Well, who, who gives birth to Satan? And we didn't really have the best reputation either. Anyway, it took a while for us to finally get recognized by international law. Since the further you are from the likeness of the main six, the slower the process will be. So I'm sure it's been way harder for you, lady. 
Our numbers are extremely low. Is this getting preachy on representation or something? Hmm. I hope not. <laughs> or at least I hope it just stays within this universe and doesn't really get preachy, but you know, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Others being unfamiliar with our existence is not surprising to us. Still, doesn't make it right. But I get it now. Your disdain for the internet. I'm impressed. You seem very chill about it. Talk about chill? Do I look chill? Uh-oh, what's happening? Uh-oh, the light. <clears throat> Excuse me. But how can you be chill? Ah! To such blatant disrespect thrown in your face like that? Ah! <clears throat> Whoa, dude! <clears throat> Don't you wonder what gives them the right to be so vile? Who do they think they are? Pray tell. What do they feel when they commit such offensive acts? Do they feel some sort of perverse pleasure from all their suffering? The audacity! I can't! I can't! I see the the anonymity of talking through screens! I've enabled people the comfort of disrespecting others without suffering a direct hit to their face for it! Uh oh. She's going full Karen! Uh oh. She's changing her name to Frosk! <laughs> Damn it, not again! Just a second, please. Okay! Dot. 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 Oh, God. I'm getting the hell out of here. <laughs> Don't leave me, Officer Georgie! <laughs> <laughs> ah, thank goodness. Hmm? Da da da. Da da da. It's just. not right. That kind of behavior. It's just that right. I'm sorry. I've gone too far. It's alright. I admit, I just don't want to hear the audience as well as right. Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of people who work in customer service that don't want to hear it. The customer is always right. Because that means my dream has ran aground before I can even try. Da, da, da. How about if I help you? <clears throat> hmm? Look, I get what you're going through. As a satyr, I had to do a plenty of numbskulls trying to tear me down to justify their own inferiority complexes. So believe me when I tell you this. You've got what it takes to turn the tables around. Huh? How? Easy. You gotta sell yourself. <clears throat> wow, kids, slow down. I might be lax, but I still work for the law. No, Pops, not that kind. We're not talking about prostitution or sex. Honestly, I don't know much about the opera scene, but I know sirens dominate a huge chunk of the Sopranos rules, am I right? Yes. It's as if they're made for the role. Exactly. So, this is a case of if it ain't broken, don't fix it. So no matter what you do, or how hard you try, you'll always be an outlaw. So, if you just complete, excuse me, if you just compete, Based on your skills alone, sorry to say this, but you probably won't make it. Mm. Wait, hear me out. You got one awesome thing all those sirens don't have. Huh? A story. A uh, story? Yeah! <clears throat> Imagine if you will. A banshee who dreams of becoming a lead soprano or whatever it is you wish to do on the stage. Pursuing her dream in the midst of all the sirens, despite all the odds stacked against her. Isn't that a great narrative? Da, da, da. But you haven't even heard me singing. Have you? Of course I'd love to, 
But honestly, that doesn't matter as much as you think. What? Our goal is to get your story stuck in people's heads first. Most people will just scoff at it because of their own dumb assumptions, which is exactly what we want. <clears throat> then, we'll blow all their expectations away by putting you on stage. What stage? And how? Don't worry, I have my ways. Anyway, you see, everybody will be surprised no matter what. And that's when you'll get your time to shine. What are you talking about? No. What? Why? I just want the chance to properly sing. To show what I'm made of. Regardless of what I am. I know, but I'm offering you a possible way in. No offense. But all of this sounds like you're just... It's as if you're trying to sell a caricature of me. Of course not, no way. But, ouch, that kind of hurt a little bit. Well, I'm sorry for being rude. But I don't know you. And you don't know me. So, how am I supposed to consider all of what you've said? When you don't even know my name? Honestly? If what you've been doing has worked at all, I would have asked for your name already, don't you think? Don't you think? Hey! I don't know where you were going with that, but... I think you went too far, kid. What the hell are you talking about? Dot to dot. Oh, crap. Hey, look, I'm sorry. The storm seems to be easing up. I'll be taking my leave. Right, thank you for coming, Miss... Riona. Miss Riona. We hope to see you again. Our conversation certainly took another turn. So, let me make this point. For all the words you spoke earlier, I feel... You were actually intended for me. Dot dot. Take him. Have a safe trip. Poof. She teleports. Uh. Sorry about all that. I messed up, didn't I? Can't say it, kid. This old man is still trying to figure out what just happened. Oh, man. Don't know what came over me, Pops. I get too hyped up sometimes and I lose my cool. Sorry, just a sec. This is my manager. The world closure is over, so he's picking me up now. Oh, that's wonderful. Nice. <laughs> I didn't really see that right away. <laughs> By the way, do you need a ride, Pops? I could drop you off wherever, no problem. Thanks, kid, but it's all right. I'm sure the calves will start rolling around soon. You sure? Yep. Alrighty. I guess I'll be seeing you guys around. Thanks for coming. We hope to see you again. Yeah. Hey, look the coop. Yes? No, it's not. Okay, then. See you soon, look the coop. Pops. Have a safe trip. Well, that was a show and a half. No kidding. Feels like I'm ready to just call it a day. <laughs> as soon as I get my cab, I'll get out of your hair, Luke Cook. Oh, please. You know I don't mean it like that. I'm not gonna lie, though. Listening to those two got me thinking for a little bit. About? <clears throat> me and my youngest daughter, Missy. Maybe I was too hard on her, but I don't know. When you're a parent, it's hard to choose between supporting your kids' ideas or stopping them from taking things too far. It's always a fine line to tread for sure. Yep. Uh-oh. It's a missus. You know what? I think I better go. 
At least if she hears the rain outside, she'd get less mad at me. <laughs> Please try to not get sick. I'm kidding. But I better go. You take care on closing, Luke the Coke. Will do. Hope you get a cab soon. X. See ya. Poof. Oof. What a day. I better clean up and then, huh? What's this? It's the lighter that he left for me. Right? Hmm. Someone must have forgotten this. Well, better keep it safe over here. That's gotta be a lighter. Is that, well, that's where that's supposed to be my inventory. Okay, now let's wrap this up. To be continued. Thank you for playing. Wish list us. I already have. I've already wish listed this game. Uh, I, I know I'm not following this game on, on uh, Steam, but I, I'm following Toge Productions on Twitter. I'm following Lala on Twitter. Uh, I'm also following uh, one of the other developers on Twitter, one of the other team members of Toge. Uh, yeah, I really like Toge. I even played the demo to Rising Hell last summer. Now that I recall. But I don't think I've... You know, I don't think I've gotten the full game. And you know, there is a 13th anniversary Toge Steam sale going on right now. But it's short-lived. I think it ends in like... Um, well, by the time this video is going to be uploaded, it ends in like a day. So I am going to go get Rising Hell, the full game for PC right now. My name is Luke the Kook. Thank you for watching WASDFM.